my name is Donette Douglas. I'm the station manager here at WTJR Channel 16 in Quincy, Illinois. You can see by the board there behind me that we have four channels here at WTJR. We have 16.1, which is national local programming. You can receive that over the air, uh, on the cable, or on the DISH network on channel 32. We have 16.2, which is CTN Lifestyle, family programming. We have 16.3 CTNI Spanish programming, which right now we are running uh, music and uh, videos. We have the Gaithers. We've got um, some contemporary worship music. We've got some movies uh, because the signal is uh, very weak and we're having troubles picking it up at um so we wanted to have a good quality on there for you. So we are playing that on CTNI right now. And 16.4, which is CTN HD, and that comes out of Clearwater, Florida. And we're excited that we have such a variety of programming right here at WTJR for you. And I know many of you call in and comment on the different programs that you enjoy. And uh, many of you are able to pick up 16.2, 16.3 over the air. 16.4 is also on a DISH, and uh, all four channels you can web stream on our WTJR.org website. Well, WTJR CTN is hope. That's what we do all day long is bring hope, good news to people. And this is kind of the theme right now, CTN is hope. And this is a scripture I want to share with you today. And it says, from Hebrews 11.1, 1, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now faith is the substance or the assurance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And like I said, at CTN WTJR, we bring hope to people. And if you have a testimony, I'd like you to really take time to sit down and write it out, mail it to us, or email us, or give us a call. And you see all the information on the screen, how to do that. And let other people know how God has brought hope into your life through Christian television, WTJR and CTN. And when you share your testimony, it will encourage someone else. I know that through the years... Many times God has brought some hope, encouragement, truth, because God is truth. He's brought love. He's brought peace. He's brought joy. He's brought restoration. He's brought provision, uh, protection, many, many things, because he is all about all of that. And if you read the word of God, God will bring those things into our lives. So I'm excited that we can proclaim that. CTN is hope. Amen. Amen. Well, I think we do have some pictures from last week, uh, taping here in the studio, some of our guests. This is Kyle Cobb and David Vance, and they co-host on Friends of Wild Olive Branch Ministry right here on WTJR. You can watch them on uh, Saturday evenings right here at, uh, let me find the time real quick, 7.30 p.m., or you can watch them on Thursday afternoon at 1.30 p.m. They're from Farmer City, Illinois. And uh, they just love the Lord and they make you laugh and they might make you cry when they share the Word of God with you. Because, you know, the Word of God will convict us sometimes, but it also encourages us, too, at the same time. Amen. Uh, this is Erin. Erin uh, volunteers here. She comes in about once a month and stamps our envelopes to get ready for our newsletter mailings. And we really appreciate Erin. Isn't that a beautiful smile she has? Well, she's really a joy to know her, and we, we appreciate Erin. Amen. Uh, this is Outreach Connection. Laura Williams with CareNet here in Quincy, Illinois, was here to talk about an upcoming event they have, the Crab Fest, in March. And you want to be sure and watch that program. And then we also taped a program with Martin Carroll. He's an evangelist. He's with Revival for Christ Ministries. And right now he's working here in Quincy, Illinois, out on the streets, 
uh, doing evangelism and also working with some of the churches uh, to encourage the pastors and help them with evangelism. And of course, Gary Schluckavir is the host of Outreach Connection. So you want to be sure and tune in and hear his Martin's testimony and also about the ministry work he's doing right here in Quincy, Illinois. Amen. Okay, well, um, I want to give you our totals for our monthly church totals, I should say, for the month of January 2016. We had eight churches giving a total of $365. And those churches were the Assembly of God Sunday School in Augusta, Illinois, Faith Missions Outreach in Quincy, Illinois, First Assembly of God Church, Ewing, Missouri, Glory Worship Center in Clayton, Illinois, House of Prayer in Kinderhook, Illinois, Lowman Chapel, Shabina, Missouri, Pontusi Community Church in Pontusi, Illinois, and Salt River Christian Church in New London, Missouri. And we just say thank you to each of these area churches that uh, monthly support WTJR and help us take the gospel, the good news, outside the four walls of the studio and outside the four walls of their church. Amen. Amen. Love Basket Update. Last month, or I shouldn't say last month, last week, I was talking about the Love Basket, and I had put an article in the newsletter that went out for February. It said, just a thought, since February 14th is Valentine's Day, and people will be talking and thinking about love, I would like to encourage you to make a $3 donation to the WTJR Love Basket Fund. Just put three $1 bills in the enclosed envelope and mail back to WTJR. Last month, we mailed out 1,095 newsletters. If everyone on the mailing list responded to this challenge, that would bring in $3,285 for the WTJR Love Basket Fund. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Think of all the people that you would be able to help us help. Amen. Remember, love is an action word. At WTJR, we are working together till Jesus returns. Please help us continue to reach out and be Jesus to the tri-state area and beyond. Thank you. And we've had several that have sent in their envelope with the $3 in it. And again, here's the address uh, if you want to make a phone call for more information. But we've had so far a total of $183, and we've had 37 people sending donations in. So uh, I'm excited about that. And uh, next week, we'll give you an update as where we are. And uh, I think it'll be doubled. What do you think? Amen. Amen. Uh, soul winning training on Fridays at 1130. Uh, we have prayer and then we will train you if you've not been trained with the soul winning script from the Great Awakening. And then we go. And again, if you want more information, you can contact us here at the station. Also, we have prayer in the station on Monday afternoons from 1 to 2 p.m. Yes, we have one hour of prayer in the studio. And it's just powerful when people come and we join together. We pray individually and then we come together. We pray corporately together and we pray over requests that people uh, call in or mail into the station. We also have a prayer letter we send out to about 40 prayer intercessors. If you need prayer, call us here at the station. Karen will answer the phone. She'll be more than glad to share some scripture with you and pray with you. And... Um, also, like you see on the screen, we have an email, tv16 at wtjr.org. You can send your prayer request that way also. And I'm excited about this. Coming soon, Pray 16. This is a new program that we're going to have here on WTJR. It's a live call-in prayer show. It's going to start on Friday, February, I mean, not February, March 4th. Friday, March the 4th, from 11 a.m. to 12 noon on Fridays, you can call in your prayer request. Someone will answer the phone, take your prayer request. They will bring them into the studio where we will have guest pastors here. And I can say that the first week on March the 4th, Jerry and Patsy Spratt 
uh, with the Augusta Assembly of God Church. We'll be here praying over the request on air. And we're lining up different churches and different pastors because, like our motto says, we are working together till Jesus returns. And I know many churches are getting more and more prayer, having more prayer meetings, having all night prayer meetings, because we know prayer is the answer. We need to talk to God. We need to let him guide us, direct us, provide you know, and we'll talk more about prayer at the end of the program when I bring you some scriptures. But I'm excited about this new program. And then the week of the telethon, we will be on uh, live one hour before the telethon. From And uh, so I'm excited about that. So be praying with us as we pray about this new program, Pray 16. Amen. Okay, we're still collecting the postage stamps, the aluminum pop tabs. And again, you can drop them off the studio or mail them in. I'm always excited to get a donation envelope and inside are some stamps because that helps to purchase books for missionaries to help teach the children in other countries. And of course, I always claim they're going to learn to read English or read so they can read the Bible. Amen. Amen. Upcoming on Outreach Connection this coming week, will be Evangelist Martin Carroll. And he, like I said, he's with Revival uh, for Christ Ministries. He's an evangelist. And he encourages people to get out and evangelize their uh, community, their uh, area where you live, wherever you go, to tell people about Jesus. That will air on Monday, February 15th at 9.30 a.m., Wednesday the 17th at 9 p.m., and Saturday the 20th at 7 p.m. Coming up this next week on Pastor Speaks is Pastor Mike McKenzie, and he pastors the First Baptist Church in Plainville, Illinois, and also the First Christian Church in Barrie, Illinois. He brought a message, The Secret of the Ages. That will be airing on Sunday, February the 14th at 2 p.m., Tuesday the 16th at 1.30 p.m., and Wednesday the 17th at 7.30 p.m. And coming up on the Family Movie Night, So Help Us God. That will air on Saturday, February the 20th at 8 p.m. and Sunday, February 21st at 11.30 p.m. right here on WTJR. We're so glad that we're able to bring these movies to you and have a movie night. And uh, in fact, we show it a couple of different nights. And uh, I know we get some good feedback. There's been some really wonderful movies that just really, well, some of them encourage you, and sometimes they just speak to whatever's troubling you in your life and give you some answers. I, uh, that testimony, I'm telling you, there's power in testimonies of how God works in people's lives. So let's watch the promo today for So Help Us God. The year was 1964. It was a time of love. I took a job far away, and your mother wrote to me every day. We had plans of starting a life together, but tragedy struck and changed everything that year. Help! Beth. He's gone, Beth. It's a miracle you're here. I never told you the story. Do you remember that old tree? <laughs> yes, I, I remember the tree. <laughs> I want you to put my ashes there. Don't talk like that. You're going to be fine. You made me get food all over Grandma's urn. I don't know why you insist on eating with that thing. You know she goes wherever I go. Dad. Yeah? I think we should take Grandma's urn to the tree and bury her ashes there. Yeah, but Grandpa doesn't remember exactly where the tree is anymore. Wait, I have Grandma and Grandpa's letters. The tree has to be mentioned in here somewhere. That's what we should do. Drive out the Two River and bury Grandma. Mama and Seth, be real quiet. <laughs> Something's wrong with the camper. I'm looking for a place to stop, a gas station or something. But we're in the middle of nowhere. Daddy dropped the keys down that old well up there. You dropped the keys to the camper down that well? You can lower me down there and I can grab the keys. You know, she hardly weighs anything. Have you lost your mind? Looks 
like we got company. Shh. Super secret mission. Super secret mission. Howdy, folks. Hi. What are we all doing out here? Uh, we just had a little, uh, little engine trouble, you know. Eddie, you know why I'm so rough on you. Oh, why is that? You're not close to the Lord. That's the problem with your generation. My generation. Why are we going to the tree to bury Grandma? The road's blocked, Pumpkin. Eddie, uh, take me to that church. Where did she go? Looks like a good movie that will air on Saturday, February the 20th at 8 p.m., and on Sunday, the 21st, at 1130 p.m., right here on WTJR. Amen. I got a few letters today, and these were sent in with donations that came in for the Love Basket. And um, this one just had a big heart on it. <laughs> Amen. Donation for the Love Basket from Minden, Illinois. Thank you so much. God bless you all from Fort Madison, Iowa. Uh, this one said, for the love basket, uh, here's $3. God bless all. Thank you so much. Uh, enclosed $3 for the love basket fun. Thank you from Quincy, Illinois. And it's got P.S. Always like to share to the Mexico shoe boxes for children. And that is where part we are able to put some of the funds is with the shoe boxes that we help send to Mexico at Christmas time. Amen. From Ursa, Illinois. Um, excellent ministry. Thank you so very much. I think it is too. Anytime we can reach out and help somebody, it's wonderful. Um, this uh, in, Dear WTJR enclosed his $10 for the Love Basket Fund. Thank you for making this suggestion to me. And uh, we thank you so much for that. Uh, for the Love Basket, an anonymous donation there. Thank you. Uh, for the love basket, God bless your ministry. And WTGR Food Pantry. Well, we don't have the food pantry right here, but we know several ministries that do. GPS, we were able to help them with their food pantry. Last year, uh, they lost the power to their freezer and lost their, all the meat that was in there. So we were able to give them some money to help replace the meat. Uh, we've given the food pantry and helped with hygiene products at the Madonna House. And uh, we were able to help uh, Birthright of Quincy, and they minister to young uh, girls and, and women um, uh, with their pregnancies, uh, able to help a young single mother and her baby with some uh, home um, uh, houseware items they needed, some baby supplies, uh, some food. Uh, we were able to help a young man last year who has had medical problems, severe problems with his kidneys for quite a long time. He was unable to work. So we were able to help pay a light bill so their power wouldn't get shut off. So there are different things that the Love Basket is used for during the year. And when you give, and if Jim could get that screen maybe, we'll put it back up real quick. Just send, just put $3 in an envelope and send it to WTJR for the Love Basket. And then you'll be part of reaching out and helping us reach out into our area. Amen. Well, we're going to go to our second part. You know, we the first of the year, we decided we would have three segments. First segment is behind the scenes. Second se segment is the bridge, and that's a spot or a video that uh, Jim has produced that gives you information about a different part of the WTGR ministry here. So today we're going to be talking about ministry partners for the website. We are looking for ministry partners to help underwrite the expenses of our internet outreach. You will receive a small ad or a small banner or a small section of our site to promote your ministry, church, business, or event with a link back to your website right on the top right corner of WTJR.org. 
Contact us here at WTJR for available rates and options. WTJR is currently receiving 4,600 views per month. It will be possible for your sponsorship to be viewed by over 4,000 visitors. Would you consider helping WTJR with our internet expenses by becoming a ministry partner of our internet outreach? Thank you and God bless you. Now we're going to continue on with segment three. And I believe this is my favorite part because we are going to go to the Holy Scriptures of God and share a word with you today. Now I'm excited about all the other work God's doing here because we are proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ. And not only here to Illinois, Iowa, and Missouri, but all over the world through the internet. But the word of God is alive. There's power in the Word of God. So today, we are praising God that we can talk to Him. Yes, we've been talking about prayer for a long, long time. But it's a very, very important part of a Christian's life. And to be able to have that intimate, personal relationship with Jesus Christ, we have to learn to talk with Him. So our scripture for today comes from Psalms 145.18. The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. In truth. You know, God knows our heart. He knows our desires, our every thought. So when we come to prayer, first of all, we've got to be honest with him. And he's like it talks about truth there. We've got to be honest. We've got to um, really just ask Knock and seek him in prayer, don't we? He likes to talk with us. He likes us to come and talk with him. And I like the picture there of the child because we're to be like children. You know, children are so trusting. They, they will come and put their hands up, want you to pick them up. They trust you. They love you. They feel safe. They feel secure. And that's how you should feel when you spend time in prayer with God. You should feel loved secure, you should believe, and have faith, and know, and know that God hears and answers your prayers. Now, I want to read this same verse again, but I want to add verse 19, because David, as we know in the Psalms, he cried out to God many times, the Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. Verse 19, he will fulfill the desire. Do you hear that? He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him, reverence him, love him. He also will hear their cry and will save them. That's probably the most important prayer. It's a prayer when we confess that we have sinned and we need Jesus to come into our heart and be our Lord and Savior. To ask God to forgive our sin, and that's done through the blood that Jesus shed at Calvary. So we can cry out to the Lord, and he will hear. That's what David's saying here. And David believed it. And uh, if you get in the Psalms, like I said, and read it, David cried out, called upon the Lord many times. Why? Because he had faith. He believed God heard him and would answer his prayer. Let's go to John 3, 16 and 17. Very familiar scripture. You hear John 3, 16 so often. And I like to add verse 17 with it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Right there. That's the reason we can talk to God. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Jesus came to this earth, born in a manger, ministered, walked upon this earth. And then what? He was crucified. And he shed his blood on Calvary, the perfect sacrifice without blemish. He paid a debt he didn't owe. And we had a debt we couldn't pay. And so because of that blood Jesus shed at Calvary, 
our sins can be washed away. I'm so thankful for this great love. I'm so thankful that God wants me to be his child, wants me to talk with him, to fellowship with him. Just like I said as a child, come, just trusting God, knowing he loves you. Let's go to Psalms 18, verse 3. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. Again, David said, I will call upon the Lord for he's worthy to be praised. How do we know he's worthy? Well, we read the word of God. We believe it to be true. We stand in faith. But also God proves himself over and over. He has many, many promises in this word of God. And he will prove them to you. Yes, he will in your life. If you just trust him. If you just seek him. Spend time with God in prayer. It's a precious time. It's a precious time to have that confidence, that trust in God, knowing that as you're talking, he's listening. Amen. And also, this last verse I want to share today, Romans 10, verse 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. To call upon the Lord means to talk to him. To spend time with him. To develop and grow that personal relationship with him. And I'll tell you, through the years, uh, God has been so faithful to me. And I'm so thankful that he loves me. I'm so thankful I can talk to him. He's not dead. <laughs> you know, many religions uh, worship gods with a little g, but they're dead or they're statues. But we can worship the living God, the great I am, the one who gave his all. He gave his best. He gave it for you and for me. He gave it in love. And because of his great love for us, we can boldly come before his throne of grace anytime and anywhere. We can call out. We can seek him. We can ask. We can knock. And he'll be there for us. His word says so. And he's proved it so many times in my life. And I'm so thankful for God's word also, because I can read this word, get to know God, get to know how he would want me to uh, treat other people, how to act, how to react, how to spend time with him, how to please him. And that comes through obeying his commandments. This word right here, get to know God, spend time with him. And pray for those around you every day, especially your family and your children and the lost. Until next week, God bless. WTJR, licensed to Quincy, Illinois, maintains a public file for public inspection at our studio at 222 North 6th Street in Quincy, Illinois. Hours of our studio location, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Thursday and 9 a.m. to noon on Friday. 